ए माइक माइक चालू हो तो ऐसे गाड़ी गाड़ी नहीं कोर गाड़ी ना टकड़े सर Mic check. Eliana, remember you are giving the call. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Thank you.
para mim. Archbishop Philip Neri, Cardinal Ferrao, as we sing the hymn Mogar Guru. Oh, 
To begin with this Eucharistic celebration, let us all stand up and joyfully sing the hymn, Come Emmanuel.
Please be seated. On behalf of the priests, religious, and parishioners of Our Lady of the Rosary Church, Karanzale, I, the parish priest, welcome to our church, Your Excellency, the Most Reverend Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli, Apostolic Nuncio of India and Nepal. Thank you, Your Excellency, for honoring us with your gracious presence. We pray fervently for God's grace and blessings on you as you carry out your duties as ambassador of the Holy Father Pope Francis within our multicultural, multi-religious, and multilingual country. We also welcome His Eminence, Philip Neri Cardinal Ferrand the priests, religious, and other guests for this celebration. Let us now joyfully participate in this Eucharistic celebration. Let us give them a warm welcome. <laughs> Kindly stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. On this second Sunday of Advent, we are preparing for a fuller coming of Christ in our communities and in the world. We need to be people filled with the Spirit of Christ, the Savior was announced by Isaiah and John the Baptist as a man filled with God's Spirit who would baptize us with the Spirit of fire. John said to us, let the Spirit of fire change your mentality, your attitudes and your ways so that Jesus can live amongst you to make this world a place of unity and integrity of justice and of peace. Today is an auspicious day for the Archdiocese of Goa and Damon, and especially for us, parishioners of Our Lady of the Rosary Church, Karanzale, as the Apostolic Nuncio of the Holy See to India, His Excellency Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli is amongst us celebrating the Holy Eucharist along with His Eminence, Philip Neri, Cardinal Ferrau. Let us pray that the Almighty blesses them ab abundantly and fills them with the Holy Spirit to work zealously in spreading the kingdom of God. With these thoughts in mind, let us ask for God's grace as we partake in this Holy Eucharist. Today, being the second Sunday of Advent, we light the second candle the candle of love, because God's love is the reason he sent Jesus into this world and willed that he died for us. I now request your Excellency, Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli, to light the second candle. And as he does so, let us continue to ask the good Lord to bless us with strength and courage to love one another as he has loved us. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have done. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, 
and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. On that day, they shall come forth a shoot from the stump of Jesse, and a branch from his roots shall bear fruit. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide disputes by what his ears hear. But with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt of his waist and faithfulness the belt of his loins. The wolf shall dwell with the lamb and the leopard shall lie down with the young goat and the calf and the lion and the fatted calf together and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the cobra, and the weaned child shall put his hand on the adder's den. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. In that day, the root of Jesse, who shall stand as a signal for the peoples, of him shall the nations inquire, and his resting place shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to be God. God.
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction that through endurance and through the encouragement of the scriptures we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Jesus Christ, that together you may, with one voice, glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, welcome one another, as Christ has welcomed you. For the glory of God, Christ, the hope of Jews and Gentiles. For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised, to show God's truthfulness, in order to confirm promises given to the patriarchs and in order that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing to your name. The word of the Lord Thanks Thanks be to God. God. Please rise to that emission.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he who was spoken of by prophet Isaiah when he said, The voice of the one crying in the wilderness Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Now John wore a garment of camel's hair and a leather belt around his waist, and his food was locusts and wild honey. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea, all the region about the Jordan and they were baptized by him in the river Jordan confessing their sins but when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism he said to them you brood of vipers who want you to flee from the wrath to come bear fruit and that befits repentance and do not presume to say to yourselves we have Abraham as our father for I tell you God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham even now the axe is laid to the root of the trees Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the granary. But the shop he will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Your Eminence, um, Philippe Neri, Cardinal Ferrau, Archbishop of Goa and Daman, Reverend Father Pio Almeida, Paris Priest of Our Lady of the Rosary Church, Reverend Father Jonas de Souza, Assistant Priest of Our Lady of Rosary, and Reverend Father Joyce the Sousa Assistant Priest of Our Lady of the Rosary, Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, and Reverend Brothers and my dear faithful in our Lord Jesus Christ. 
I am truly glad to be present in this uh, beautiful and unique church of Our Lady of the Rosary in the Archdiocese of Goa and Daman and celebrate the Holy Mass with you this morning. The quarter, the village of Karanzalem in North Goa is very close to Panji, the main city of the state of Goa. This parish here at Karanzalem is dedicated to Our Lady of the Rosary, which was carved out of the parish of Talaigao and erected as an independent parish in the year 2014. And your parish has uh, about 3,000 parishioners, and for organizing pastoral activities, the parish is divided into 14 wards, or vade, and six colonies. Your parish has a number of active associations, such as the Catechical Association, the Conference of Our Lady of the Rosary, Living Waters Charismatic Prayer Group, Friends of Jesus Youth Group, Missionary Families of Christ, Intercessory Prayer Group, Altar Server Association, Choirs, and Paris Animation Team. I was pleased to learn that uh, you have a special, special outreach program, such as remedial classes for weak students, visiting the poor families and individuals, and uh, a good Samaritan fund to help those in need. So I congratulate you for these many activities you have in your parish, and especially expressing also your solidarity to the poor, uh, to those who are in need. We are celebrating the week of love, this uh, week of Advent. And so, in your parish, love is uh, uh, something real, concrete, that you express through your activities and your associations. So my congratulations and my encouragement to continue to give this good testimony as Catholics. Today, as we celebrate the second Sunday of Advent, let us reflect upon all that God has done for us. God, may God's Spirit transform our days leading up to the birth of Christ that we are going to celebrate in Christmas uh, solemnity and leave this Advent as uh, a time of holy anticipation of the encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading taken from the book of Isaiah, which is a messianic prophecy, focuses on the oracles concerning a future king of righteousness and justice. As a consequence of King Asa's failure to trust in the divine covenant made with the house of David, Isaiah foretells of a promised Messiah who would come from the stump of Jesse, and he would possess the sevenfold gifts of wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and fear of the Lord. The Spirit of God will enable the faithful people to create a world in, in which the wolf shall live with the lamb and the leopard 
shall lie down with the young goat. Thus, the passage of hope describes the future Davidic ruler as one who will do what Ahaz could not, namely to trust entirely in God, and by doing so, usher in a new age of peace and security for God's people. Empowered by God's Spirit, this ideal king will enact a transformation in which the poor will become the recipi recipients of justice, the meek will be restored, and the wicked will receive the punishment they deserve. Thus, Isaiah's proclamation indicates God's faithfulness to his purposes and promises. Consequently, if we allow the Spirit of God to work in our lives, we will be able to live in peace and harmony, even when we are in despair and face difficult life's challenges. In the second reading taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, St. Paul reminds the Romans that they should ignore their differences and mutual su mutually support one another in their difficulties. He urged them to accept one another just as Christ accepts them. He also instructed them to live in peace and harmony and calls for a spirit of reconciliation among the different factions in that community. As we await patiently for the coming of the Lord during this Advent season, we too are urged to forgive others from our heart, show compassion to the suffering, and work for justice and peace among the peoples. And in the Gospel reading taken from the evangelist Luke, John the Baptist exhorted his hearers to repent for their sins, be baptized, amend their lives, and prepare for the coming of the kingdom of God. He is one, John the Baptist, of the most significant biblical figures who reveals his identity as a voice and clarifies his special role in the history of salvation to make straight the way of the Lord. John the Baptist knew his mission in life and clearly understood that he had been set apart for, by God for a specific task. He never lost sight of his mission, namely to point people to Christ. He gave his life for Christ. He was not ordered to deny Jesus, but was ordered to keep silent about the truth. And he did not keep silent. And thus, he died for Christ, who is the truth. It is the role of the Christian to witness to Jesus. Whatever our position is, we are called to be dis the disciples of Christ, to be the disciples of truth. By our words and deeds, Others should realize that we live in the joy of knowing 
that Jesus is the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, may we follow the example of John the Baptist and boldly proclaim always the truth, proclaim our Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord of the world. May St. Joseph Vass, the patron of your archdiocese, inspire you to be always faithful to Christ. And may God bless each and every one of you. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus, Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius, Pontius, Pontius Pilate, was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day, day he rose again from, from the dead. dead. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and, and is seated, seated at the right hand of the Father, the Father Almighty. From, from there he will come, come to judge, judge the living and, and the dead. I believe, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, in this holy season of Advent, as we are waiting for the Lord who comes, let us render thanks to God, our loving Father, who gave us his only Son, confident that he will not hold back anything we might ask, him in faith. Let us pray for the coming of a new age of justice, peace, and love for all peoples. Let us pray for our Holy Father, the bishops, the priests, and all who exercise the service leadership in the church, that the spirit of inside may guide the church to proclaim always the good news of the kingdom, fearlessly defend the faith against the evil adversaries, and with great compassion and deeds of kindness, proclaim the good news of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the world leaders that through goodwill and cooperation they may strive to put an end to war and violence and establish a world order of peace and justice. Lord Jesus, help your ministers and all in positions of authority that by their gentleness and understanding and serving love they may reflect better your face. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. Lord Jesus, help all of us here in the Eucharist to prepare ourselves for the celebration of Christmas that we may do away with all that stands in the way of your deeper coming in our hearts and in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, hear us, we pray. O Lord, give us your love. 
Let us pray for Apostolic Nuncio of the Holy See to India, Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli. As a servant of Christ, may he always be zealous and enthusiastic in his ministry. May God grant him joy, peace, wisdom, fulfillment and good health to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. We pray. मागुया आमचे करांजलेंचे सोगले फिजगोस करां पासोत या अद्वेंताच्या कारण आमी उर्बेन आणि बोरुवाशान बोरुन लान लान सक्रिफिस करुन जेसुचा जोलमांग आमची तयारी बोरे बशेन करुन नातालांची पोरो
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good, good of all this holy, holy church. church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and some offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, Come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he, come, he comes again in glory and majesty and all his at last made manifest, we who watch for the day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels and, thro and with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like did you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Philip Neri, Cardinal Ferrand, Archbishop, uh, Nuncio, Leopoldo, Girelli, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, thy, name, thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread, bread and forgive, and forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, and us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but, but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom and the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, the word and my soul shall be healed. As we receive Jesus into our hearts, let us all sing the hymn, Jesus is Coming.
let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Church announcements. Today is the second Sunday of Advent. Last Sunday's collection amounted to rupees 64,370. This, this week box collection amounted to rupees 2,960 rupees. The mission collection is as follows. By cash to the church, 2,60,875. By check, 1,90,000. Donna Paula Chapel, 30,670. Marivel Chapel, 3,700. Raj Bhavan Chapel, 6,500. Total amounted to rupees 4,91,745 rupees. Donations towards the church, a parishioner from Dando Ward has donated 20,000 rupees. Xavier Estrosio, rupees. 10,000 rupees. Thank you for your contributions, donations. May God bless you all. Today, Sunday, the Mass in the church were as follows. 6.45 a.m. Konkani Mass, 7.45 a.m. Konkani Mass, 9.30 a.m. English Mass, and in the chapel, 7 a.m. Donna Paul. Today, there won't be any Mass at Raj Bhavan and Marivel Chapel. On the 5th December, that is tomorrow, that is PPC meeting at 6 p.m. On 16 December, that is Tuesday, a session is fixed for those getting married in the month of December 2022 to February 2023, along with their in-laws at 4 p.m. On 8 December 2022, Thursday, is the solemnity of Immaculate Conception of Blessed Virgin Mary. The masses are as follows, 6.30 a.m. Konkani Mass, and 7.45 a.m. English Mass. Kindly note the change in timing. On 11 December, coming Sunday, there is a recollection for the Panjim Dinari Catechist at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at Taligaon Church. On coming Sunday, that is the 11th of December, the cleaning of the church and animation of the liturgy is as follows. 6.15 a.m. and 7.45 a.m. Konkani Mass by Bazar Vado, 8 a.m. Catechism, 9 a.m. Children's Mass in Konkani, 10.15 a.m. English Mass by NIO La Citadel Model Splendor. The Urban Health Center is conducting a NCD health camp in our, in our premise on 7 December 2022 at 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Masses for the dead in this week. On 7 December, Wednesday, Months Mind Mass for Maria Antonia Fernandez Marivel at 8.15 a.m. in our church. Reading of the marriage bands. By the grace of God and following the norms of the church, Ryan Fernandez, son of Joseph Rose Fernandez and Josephine Fernandez Lorenzo, born in Panjim and residing at Caranzali, intends to marry Abigail Cletina Filpa Gonsalves, daughter of Anthony Caetano Gonsalves and Antonette Gonsalves, born in Santa Cruz and residing at Raya. This is their third band. If there is any objection, you are called to note the parish priest and you are called also to pray for them. By the grace of God and following the norms of the church, Kevin Fernandez, son of Minino Fernandez, Francis Fernandez, and Giledina Fernandez, born in Tonia and residing at Firgoswado, Karanzali, intends to marry Angelica Josuel Fernandez, daughter of Jose Manuel Fernandez, and Jose Sao Antoneta Pinto, born in Mandur and residing at Mandur. This is their third and final band. If there is any objection, you are called to note 
notify the parish priest and you are called to pray for this couple too. By the grace of God and following the church norms, Alistair Nicholas Poe, son of late Raul Poe and Caroline Poe E. Fernandez, born in Santa Cruz and residing at Mintra Bazar Caranzale, intends to marry Romancia Valencia Fernandez, daughter of Miguel Antonio Fernandez and Linda Pereira, born in Panjim and residing at Bochebad Caranzale. This is their second man. If there is any objection, you are called to notify the parish priest and you are called to pray for them too. By the grace of God and following the church norms, Xavier Vaz, son of Matthew Vaz and Rosie Maria Germina Barreto, born in Porvorim and residing at Aivau Karanzali, intends to marry Zenia Lizeth Dias, daughter of Joseph William Dias and Placida Maria Clara Dias, born in Mumbai and residing at Mumbai. This is their second band. If there is any objection, you are called to notify the parish priest and you are called to pray for them too. By the grace of God and following the church norm, Joel Dominique Remedios, son of Agnel Bosco Remedios and Lynette Mar Maria Remedios, born in Mumbai and residing at Karansali, intends to marry Ivanka Telma de Maria Mascarenas, daughter of Antonio Arsenio Dudes de Maria Mascarenas and Selina de Jesus de Viega Barbosa Norona, born in Margao and residing at Dona Paola. This is their second band. If there is any objection, you are called to notify the parish priest and you are called to pray for them too. By God's grace and following the church norm, Dominic D'Souza, son of Thomas D'Souza, and Philomena Margulia, born in Santa Cruz and residing at Dona Paul, intends to marry Archila Gregorina Trinidad, daughter of Angelo Vittorino Trinidad and Pertua Fernandez at Trinidad, born in Panjim and residing at Dona Paula. This is their second band. If there is any objection, you are called to notify the parish priest and you are called to pray for them too. By the grace of God and following the church norms, Fabian Nolan Dias, son of Joseph Manuel Sukur Dias and Maria Filomena Raposo Dias, born in Santa Cruz, Goa and residing at Dona Paula, intends to marry Queenie Ave Viviana Araujo Lopez, daughter of Alexio Inacio Lopez and Filomena Francisca Rodriguez Araujo, born in Ribander and residing at Ripander. This is their first band. If there is any objection, you are called to notify the parish priest and you are called to pray for this couple too. So my dear brothers and sisters, on this occasion on the, of the visit of the Nuncio, His Excellency Leopoldo Girelli, very difficult to pronounce, and uh, our, His Eminence, Philip Neri, Cardinal Ferrand, and uh, Reverend Priest. We would like to thank especially His Eminence, Philip Neri Ferrand, the Bishop's House Priest, for guiding us and helping us to celebrate meaningfully today's Mass with the Nuncio. Thank you very much for His Eminence and the Priest from the Bishop's House. We thank His Excellency the Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli for coming and celebrating this parish mass in our parish. We thank our parish pastoral council, my assistants, brother, reverend sisters, all the associations, altar servers, choir, and all the, uh, the members, choir members, CCR TV, Diocese and Mass Media Communication, Cruz Sequeira and his team for the decoration, Fabrica, traffic police volunteers, church staff, brass band will be in attendance from our parish after the mass, and all the parishioners for your collaboration, your involvement, and your community spirit. Thank you all for making this day a memorable, memorable one and helping to see that this celebration is a parish celebration, a parish mass. Thank for each one of you.
God bless you. And uh, after the mass, there will be cup of tea and pancake. All of us will stay for some time. Even the His Excellency, the Nuncio, our Cardinal, and the priest will also mingle. We we'll love to meet for some time. We'll have refreshment along with the parishioners. So let us uh, meet each other and thank for this parish community. And uh, as the, we have our refreshment, uh, the band will be in attendance. Like, let us uh, have some time in fellowship. We thank our angels and all those who have trained here in some way or the other different uh, responsibilities they have taken. Thank you and we appreciate you. And now on behalf of all of us, one of our parishioners will speak and then On behalf of the parishioners of Our Lady of Rosary Church, Karansley, I thank the Most Reverend Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli for celebrating Holy Mass on this, the second Sunday in Advent in our church. By lighting the second candle and your homily, you help us refocus on Jesus' commandment, the commandment of love. We also thank His Eminence, Philip Neri, Cardinal Ferrao, who despite his very busy schedule, concelebrated the Mass for us. We thank all the priests and religious present at this Mass for contributing to make it a memorable occasion. I now call upon the priests of our parish, Father Jonas, Father Joyson, and Brother Frederick, to present Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli with a small memento on, our, on behalf of our, the parish. Since we are running short of time, just a brief word to make my own the sentiments expressed by Father Pio Almeida, the parish priest, and Mr. Thomas Pereira on behalf of the parishioners. I, while I reiterate my thanks to His Excellency for having accepted our proposal to celebrate a Mass in a parish and for having come here, celebrated the Eucharist, broken the word of God so meaningfully for all of us. Thank you, Your Excellency. And my special thanks to the parish priest, Father Pio, his able collaborators, both the assistants, the parish council members, and all of you, the entire parish community, who made this celebration so meaningful, right from the time we reached here with a cordial, flowery welcome. Thank you to each one of you. God bless you. We are little conscious of time. We will have a little interaction, but His Excellency has another appointment at 11.30. We have to leave at 5 past 11. So we'll spend a few minutes together after the blessing to be imparted by the Apostolic Nuncio. Just before the final blessing, I would like uh, to thank all of you, especially uh, Cardinal Felipe Neri, for giving me the opportunity to stay to celebrate also the Holy Mass in your parish. I see that your parish has uh, three priests. You are a big parish. Uh, you have a, a parish priest that is uh, very pious. You have an assistant parish priest that he has 
a very nice voice for announcement. And you have also an assistant Paris priest that he has a good taste of food. <laughs> so you are very blessed. And um, I exhort you to love your priests, to take care of them, and also to support them, because uh, we are a community. And, uh, in the community, priests are representing uh, the bishop, are representing our Lord Jesus Christ as our leader, our prophet, and also our holy priest. So support and love your priest. And I am impressed also of the shape of your uh, parish church. You choose a shape that is horizontal. Uh, traditionally, the church are a little bit uh, longer. You choose to be around the altar. And this is expressing a very uh, theological meaning. As in the cross, we have the vertical love to reach up God, but before reaching God, we need to be, uh, as the arms of Jesus Christ, embracing our brothers and sisters who are in need, who are suffering, who are poor. So, if we want love God, we should love our brothers and sisters, our neighbor. So this shape of your church is telling me that you are committed to love God through the love of your neighbors. My presence among you today is a sign also of the presence of Pope Francis among you. I convey to you his blessings, his greetings, and be assured of his prayers for you, for all the church in India. And uh, I ask you to pray always for Pope Francis. On his behalf, I'm going to bless all of you. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May the Almighty God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and earn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing. Amen. Amen. As you run the grace of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity. Amen. Amen. So that, rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when he comes again in majesty. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.